Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. And today will be episode four of the Build Your Own Space series. And it will be outside coverings. So I'm using your OSB. If you go with plywood, it'll be the same as what I'm doing. If you're going sheetrock, then you're gonna wanna wait until I do the inside, which will be sheetrock for that episode. But let's get started. So first things first, OSB has a smooth side and a rough side. What I'm going to do is put my rough side in because this is going to end up having a workbench here and I just, I, won't, I don't want it rough, you know, for hanging stuff on it. So you want to make sure you've cleaned off the ground anywhere, um, you know, where you're, where you're setting your sheets. And you want to take your sheet, you want to set him up and if this is an outside corner go to the outside to the flush with the outside corner if it's an inside corner butt it up against the corner and make sure that you're landing on a stud now uh, I know that this stud is level because I leveled everything if you are if you're not for sure it's always best to start on an outside corner if you can and then nail your sheet completely on the outside corner piece and then push your wall to get it to the point to where it's flush on the ground and flush, you know, the corner's already nailed off flush, but to make sure it's flush on the ground. So once you got him, what I like to do, I'll go ahead and throw a nail in him so that he's held up. You go to this side, make sure you still like everything. And you need to put a nail about every foot is what you're shooting for. Um, also, <laughs> you know that your studs are on 16 inch centers. So if you pull from this stud, you can go ahead and mark 16. You go ahead and mark 32. Because we know the studs here, we know there's a stud on this edge. That gives us our inside studs and then we're gonna take a level and mark that line. So, we just take our level here, get him level, and mark our line. Then that way, we don't have to search for where to nail him. On the other side, it has it marked, has lines marked on OSB, but since we want smooth side out, then it don't help us much. Now all we do is nail him off, and like I say, about one every foot. Now we move to our second sheet, which has our window in it. The only, there's two ways you can do this. A, you can measure off for your window, draw it out and cut him. Or the way I like it, because it's easier and quicker, is if you just take him, get him lined up like you want him there, and nail him off. And then we'll come back with a sawzall and cut around our window. So, like I say, you can do it with a sawzall. I have a jigsaw right here handy. Someone use it. Jigsaw, sawzall, it doesn't really matter. You start with an opening. Let's just, you know, this is still our window. Let's just say it wasn't. You can drill a hole to get started and then go. Or if you're concerned that you may not catch the corners right or anything like that, what you can do is take your drill with, take your drill and go inside and uh, go right in the corner you know where the two meet go right in the corner draw your hole which i'll do on this first one like so and now you know that's the corner right there of this and that so you know you won't go too far when cutting so i'm gonna cut him out
and there we go. Now, when doing that, all you wanna do is cut and put a little here, a little downward pressure, here a little pressure that way, and you'll feel it riding along that. But worst case, see, even here I'm a, I'm a shade proud. No big deal. Now you can see it, so you can take it and cut it flush. There. Also, that cut doesn't have to be the cleanest because we're gonna case all this out once we put our window in. So, all right, let's finish hanging the sheets. Uh, the door, the door is the same way as we did here. When you hang through the door, I should say, if you put a, uh, if you put a sheet up and miss a stud, which is it's very possible. If you miss a stud, all you have to do for example, if this was a stud that we missed right here, all you'd have to do is take him, put him in. I always put them edgeways like this. Now I'm at the bottom, now I'm at the top, and then there you go. Essentially, you're just putting in another stud. Another option, if you don't want to use the Sawzall, if you want a little cleaner cut, if you're worried about that, is you can take and do just like we did with the window, Take your drill and drill a hole through at the corner. And then, you know, on the edge on both sides, you just go level down and level over and you cut it with a skill saw. That's our door. One more piece. So that's how you put up your wall panels. Uh, now you get to make the choice. Do you want to cover your floor, your roofing system, you know, which is this two by 12? If so, you rip down, you, long ways is what I usually do, is rip down whatever I need. And mine is rocking right at about 12 and a half inches. So you'll just rip them down and nail them on top. And then you're done. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped and um, stay tuned for episode five. Until next time, keep making dust.